Hello? So let me start. Is anybody here aged over 35? Ah, my people. Because I bet you had the same thing walking down Broad Street that I did. Because I walked down Broad Street earlier and I looked around and I thought, what the fuck is that music? What in God's name are those people wearing? Why did that bouncer tell me to go down the street because the bingo's down there? But I also look at things myself. I'm 41 years old, right? I'm middle-aged. And I saw people walking down the street. I saw women walking down the street. I thought, for God's sake, man, stop looking. You're old enough to be their father. There's every chance I could be. I don't know. You know, there were wild days 20 years ago. There are lots of hairy women out there. Oh, get your minds out of the gutter, honestly. But the, the, the point I'm making is that um, I'm a middle-aged man. I've thought about things that I could do in my life because everyone has that sort of goal they want to achieve. I've always wanted to be a sporting world champion. Now, yeah, I know, I know it's funny to look at me, but I will point out something. Round is a shape. I am in shape. I also have the body of a god. Buddha. It's not, it's not all bad news, of course. That I, I went out for a blood test the other day. Yeah, mine came back to Mio. <laughs> but, but I started to sort of look around and think to myself, okay, I love all these different sports. Could I be a world champion at them? So I started with athletics. Yeah, there's a slight problem in that, is that it's the difference between being a highly tuned muscular athlete and looking like a dad who's had too many burgers at the school sports day. So you can imagine going down the line of 100 meters. There's all these ripped athletes wearing their lycra and everything. And there's me wearing vest and pants because I forgot my kids. <laughs> the good news is though, that um, after we started, I broke a world record. Hey. Four hours and 35 minutes. <laughs> so then I thought to myself, okay, maybe I'll be good at badminton. Okay, this is me playing badminton. So then I thought to myself, okay, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll take up boxing instead. Yeah, I think falling through the ropes would not be a good start. And when the bell goes, I'll go, ooh, my Guinness, please, because I think it's last orders. So then I thought about gymnastics, because how hard can it be, right? You see these very highly trained athletes, they get lifted up onto the rings, and then they do their thing. I think the slight problem is that at my weight, it'd be three men or a massive focus and forklift. And once I get up there, I'll be up there and I think, oh shit, what do I do now? Oh, my boy! So then I thought, okay, horse racing. I think I would walk out there in full gear and the horse would look at me and go, nay. <laughs> and I think, I think it'd be thinking to itself, hang on a second, are you riding me or am I riding you? I'd have the one horse that would refuse the first fence of the Grand National because it's too knackered by the time it gets there. So after that, Karate. Actually, there's a problem with that. My foot only goes this high. So unless I'm fighting a dwarf or a cat, that's not going to happen. So, sort of working around different sports, I got to swimming. Because I used to be a good swimmer, believe it or not. These days, I'm more of a flotation device. And forget about diving, because realistically, would you want to see this in a pair of Lycra trunks? you count for my only fans page. <laughs> the problem is that I shouldn't die from a great height because the last time I did that I caused the Japanese tsunami. <laughs> so that leaves me with winter sports and okay fine because that's all gravity. All you've got to do is put on your costume, get on your toboggan or in your bobsleigh and just go. The problem is you're never going to fit me into one of those condom things. And there's every chance that I'm on the loose, it'll just be me screaming all the way down with a streak of brown going behind me. <laughs> so, I've, I've gone through all the different sports and I've realised this. Crown green balls. It's the only thing I could possibly be good at. The problem with that, however, is, is that those old women are deadly with a piece of wood in their hands. <laughs> Although, if they want to play with my wood, they're more than welcome to. <laughs> but, Obviously, everyone here who I've spoken to is middle-aged. There's a few middle-aged people here. You've all done things to sort of say, hey, this is my midlife crisis. You know, you've bought a Ferrari, or you've got yourself a girlfriend or boyfriend, not judging, 20 years younger than you. Or, in my case, um, you get tattoos. So, I decided...
decided to get tattoos based on places I've been. The problem was, I was a bit drunk when I asked the last one, because that one was supposed to be a six-inch cock. <laughs> That's not, but this is. Thank you very much.